You've got the dinner. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's delicious. Well, dinner is served. Man, dinner is served. Dinner ladies. is served. Uh, Julie, this must make you happy seeing fish like this, right? All my favourites, I'm sure, <laughs> I think. I love it, I love it. Well, to make sure that we do have all of your favourites, do we do you want to just remind us of what we made? Yes, definitely. So we started off with those delicious fish goujons that are served with that avo tartar sauce. We then moved on to our tasty fricadels with that smorchi. I'm literally going to start with that. Mm. And finished it off with this beautiful whole fish that we filled with some prawns and bacon. And we're serving it with some roasted baby wow. potatoes. Now, I know, wow. Tabzi, you've been on the show for two weeks now. Mm -hmm. You have been doing incredible but uh, when we're at this table, there are yeah. two words, two words. <laughs> that we like to say before we dive in. It's what? Guess. Happy eating. Let's eat! <laughs> yes, eat. Let's I love eat. it. Let's dish oh. up. I mean, on social media, Zanzi, we wanted to find out from you, pickled, grilled, fried, or raw, mm. how do you like your fish served? And we asked you to use that hashtag after you express in all of your comments, but let's find out from this dinner table. <laughs> Let us. Charity starts at home. Let's find out right now from Julie. How do you best love your fish served? Well, I, I really do love a good piece of fish, just simply seasoned with salt and pepper and fried in butter. Ooh. Oh, wow. That sounds so divine. So it's so simple. So <laughs> and for Look, it depends on the type of fish and how exactly mm. I'm going to be enjoying it. Like, for instance, I'm a lover of sushi, so mm. raw fish in that way would work. Mm. But, I mean, Julie just said it's a nice piece of fish with some butter and beautiful seasoning. Mm. Perfect. I think love for me that. it's the classic, that South African fish and chips. Which you simply cannot ever. <laughs> That's my with. friend. That's why you're my uncle. You, know what I mean? you cannot <laughs> mess with a beautiful, fresh, uh, deep fried fillet oh, of yeah. fish with some slap chips on the side. You know how mm. we like to make them there by the corner, oh, hey, hey, by the by the container. Oh, yes, oh, that yes. is the way we do love it. We'll keep the conversation going online and remember to use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments, mm. so we know where to find you. Now, Julie, we are leading into the festive season quite quickly. Mm. I cannot yeah. believe it. Not only are we celebrating Tumi, but we're also celebrating family this festive season. What can we expect from you leading into the festive season? Is it kind of crazy? Uh, yeah, I think people eat more fish in summer and yeah. there's a lot more celebration, a lot more mm. fish brides, a lot more gatherings and what's more special than a beautiful piece of fish? Yeah. On that, mm. on that note, we've spoken about how to prepare fish, how to cook a fish and all of that. How do we store our fish so that we get the most out of it? Okay, so um, always your fish must always stay cold mm -hmm. and try and keep it wrapped up. You don't want the fish to get dry in yeah. the fridge. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it. If, you, if you've got a fillet of fish that you're cooking in the evening, mm -hmm. it's always a good idea to open up the, the, the packaging, mm -hmm. pat it dry and put it in the fridge and let it just mm. breathe a little bit. Well, load shedding is going to mess up a lot of our fish storage <laughs> situations. We're going to have to go back to the stone ages. Yeah. Salt, uh -huh. right? Was it salt <laughs> that they used to preserve it? Oh uh, yeah, you could yeah. you could make some gravelax. That yeah. would be delicious. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. But do you know one thing that uh, load shedding is not going to spoil? What is it? Tumi's birthday <laughs> celebrations oh, tonight. Oh yes, we Tumi, are bringing. Tumi, what do you have planned? Guys, Besides eating that gorgeous cake, like I said, guys, I need to sing him dala manji. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm at a point right now where if I just have the closest people around me, it doesn't have to be a lot. I can mm -hmm. just be with my baby boy mm -hmm. friends. It literally could just be sitting on the side on the beach doing absolutely nothing. It's I'm just grateful for life. Yeah. Meaningful. Well, we're grateful for. For you. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Okay. Well, that's our show. Dalela. I want him to practice that last line. So, for, for me right now, Gizoti, <laughs> that's our show, Zente. We hope that you've managed to learn some new skills or two when it comes to working with and cooking fish. We say thank you so much to Julie Carter for joining us, but she'll be back on Thursday. Yep, in the kitchen. So, from us, we just want to say to you, on Thursday, we're going to be making some seafood, like prawns and mussel, you'll see that. Ooh, but until then, I've been waiting for this one. Yeah, let's Good get it. Good night. Stay safe and happy eating. Yay!